Hey, my lovely Geminis. Hope everybody's okay. Happy birthday, Geminis. I hope everybody has some fun. I have two daughters that are Geminis, so, you know, they had their birthday fun. So I hope y'all been good. Hope you had a good birthday. And whoever's birthday is coming up, happy birthday. Because I think I'm going to just do um tarot every two weeks. I was not supposed to come on today and do tarot. I was going to wait a few weeks. But I was called in today to do tarot. I was going to do only Scorpio and Pisces. Because they disappeared from the face of the fucking earth. So I'm here to do um, all of them. I might as well just do all of them. And then I'll just wait a few weeks, I guess. So let's see. So remember, Gemini, this could resonate to you. It could resonate, um, you know, to a cross watch or somebody that wants to know about Gemini. Or it could resonate to um, a third party that I'm picking up, all right? Sometimes I pick up on family members. It just depends how you pick it up, okay? So let's see what's going on with Gemini. I pre-shuffled everything so hard. Hold on. What is the overall... Oh. Okay, they want to, somebody here wants to say something, or somebody here is holding back. Hold on a minute. What is going on with Gemini here? Another person. Oops. Okay. Why is it Gemini? Gemini, what I feel is that you come in like the queen of um coins, which is the queen of pentacles, all right? I feel like you went through a situation with somebody that caused you a lot of financial issues. And I feel like you're still trying to get on top to fix those financial issues that this person made you go through, you feel me? I feel like you fought and fought for this relationship and nothing's, nothing worked. And if you're in a relationship right now, it's like you're not being appreciated. And, 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 and oh, God, I'm stuck. Mercury retrograde, don't do this to me. Yeah, we're going to be stuck for a few months. So I feel like, you know, I feel like somebody that you're with or somebody that you were with, they didn't appreciate you for nothing. They don't appreciate you and they didn't appreciate you. It's like more like a laughing, like a joking, like, you know, like having you there. And it's like the energy I'm picking up is like, I got this one. I want it. You feel me? And this person never going to leave me. And, you know, I laugh and I do whatever I want behind this person's back. That's the energy I'm picking up for you, Gemini. Not from you. From this person you were dealing with or this person that you're currently dealing with. And you, you're just looking at this person like, what the fuck? I provide, you know, I've done it all, I've given all, I fought for it all, you know, I've, you know, you've put so much stability towards this relationship, towards this person, it could even be family, and this person didn't appreciate nothing you did, everything was a joke to this person, I feel like this person was juggling, I ain't even gonna lie, you know about it, or you know about it, and it's like, you're putting up with it. But I feel like some of you walked away, completely walked away, and some of you are still putting up with this shit. You feel me? It's like you're trying to fight it to get out, but it's like you're holding back for some reason. But you're looking at this person, and you look at this person, and it's like, I know what you're doing. I know what you're all about. You can't hide no secrets from me. And it's like you're getting so already so upset that you're about to blow. And you might just be walking on the doors. This person doesn't appreciate nothing. Listen, you need to appreciate yourself, okay? Because my ancestor very clearly is telling me here, you need to love yourself more. You need to appreciate yourself, what you do, what you give, what you've given. Not what they're doing. Because at the end of the day, what you've given, what you're going to give, or what you're giving right now, shows the person that you are. Because this person don't respect you or didn't respect you. Didn't respect you as a person. You feel me? You have more morals than this person. This person doesn't have morals. I'm sorry to say it, but it's the way that she's telling me. No hay morales. This person had no morals and will never have them. You feel me? For some of you, this person could be, you know, just, you know, taking everything in a childish way. And it's annoying you. You feel me?
But for a lot of energies that I'm picking up here, this person is unloyal, period. This person is more like, the energy I'm picking up is like more like a using energy. Like, you know, if they got it, I have it. You feel me? And I'm not going to say that they don't love you or they didn't love you. Because there's love there. But there's mostly, is like a manipulation type of thing. You feel me? Towards you. And I feel like a lot of you got fed up and just walked the fuck away and didn't care about no love, nothing, no home, no commitment, nothing to happen. Y'all walked away, but some of you are still stuck here and fighting it. But you're mostly in fighting it internally within yourself. You need to love yourself more. Okay? And know your worth. And know that you're worth it. Okay? And fight for yourself. Give yourself some things. You need to stop making excuses because she's telling me you're making excuses. You know, it could be everybody that's locked up at home. You know, nobody wants to go out because you're going to get sick. No, you're making up excuses. Some of y'all are making up excuses. You need to get out more. Go out and have some fun. Even if you're just, you know, by yourself or with one friend, go out alone. If you're going to go out alone, go to the beach, meditate. If you're going to go out alone, just go go to a place, a park, something where you can breathe. Go to the air, to the earth. Pick up the earth's energy, okay? Because she's telling me very clearly. A lot of you could have earth in your um chart. Because she's talking a lot about going out to the, um, you know, to the, um, to get everything out from the earth, okay? You could be having signs from butterflies, too. Because I see butterflies here. For some reason, they're all over flying in front of me. You can't see them. Maybe you can. If you have vision, you can see them. But I can see them. There's butterflies flying here. So listen, Gemini. It's like you either... You feel me? If you're in this energy, you either get out of this energy or you're going to keep on, you know, fighting and you're not going to get nowhere. Because at the end of the day, this person's going to walk away no matter what. You feel me? Hold on a minute. What else for Gemini this person, please? What else? Listen, a lot of financial, listen, a lot of financial problems are going on here. You're standing like the king of swords. Listen, you've been hurt. And let me tell you something. You've had enough, Gemini. You've had enough because you feel like you're putting so much or you put so much energy in this relationship. And I feel like it had to do a lot with money. Like you were the one that was stable. You were the one that was giving all the money. You were the one that was paying bills. You were the one that was taking care of everybody. You were the one that if something happened, you would run. While this person would sit down and do nothing but enjoy themselves. That's what I'm picking up. Whether it was chilling with people, hanging out with their friends, talking on the phone, texting, social media, whatever it was, you were doing all the work. You're fed up. Okay? You know what you want. You know what you need. And you know how to get out of this. You feel me? And whoever did get out of this, listen. If this person tries to cross you again, it's not going to be nice. And whoever's involved here... That is, that is going through this. Listen, you're about to like move on. Or you've been thinking about it. And you know what? She's telling me that somebody's packing up. And leaving. So some of y'all might be secretly. Without saying a word. You feel me? Planning your way out of this relationship. You feel me? And all this energy. Okay? Because I feel like there's too many people involved here. And it's like. You say to yourself. I don't need to be around all this energy. This isn't my problem. This is this person's problem. And even if you've been with this person for so long, it's like it's not your problem. This person brought you into this problem, is what I'm trying to say. And you feel like, why am I here? This ain't my problem. This is this person's problem. Even though I love this person, they putting burdens on my back that ain't my burdens. You feel me? Yeah, you could take your burdens, your person's burdens, the person you love. Because, you know, and take them for yourself. Everybody does that, but I feel like you're so fed up because there's so much shit going on that they involved you in that you were not supposed to be in, and it's gotten out of hand is what I'm feeling, and I feel like you're tired. You're tired, and you just want to move on, but some of y'all moved the fuck on, okay, out of this relationship, and that was it. You ain't even looking back. You're stable. You're looking for your finances. You're trying to work on yourself. I see you're doing good with money. You're struggling a little bit with the money. But I feel like you're doing good with money. And you're trying to get back into your power. 
But I feel like some of you that have walked away are just alone. You know, you feel me? You need to get out, okay? Get some air. Feel the breeze. Look at nature. You feel me? Because she keeps on telling me. Some of y'all might have, um, you know, like earth in your chart. Like I see, okay, that up there is uh, Pisces. Um, you got, you got shit. Mm -hmm. Listen, you got Pisces, you got Pisces, you got Taurus here, and you got um Leo. Okay, for now. Man, somebody here is ready to go. Listen, somebody here is trying to make changes. Somebody here may change it. Somebody here might have stepped into another relationship already, or you're probably talking to somebody already, and you're feeling this person, and you feel like, I'm trying to blow the sage. Don't think I'm trying to do something else. That was that was stupid. Listen, I feel like some of you walked away from this person and you're, you're trying to jump into something new. But you're not sure about it because you're afraid that things are going to happen. So you have your guard up real high. You need to drop that guard up. I mean, that oh shit, it's Mercury retrograde. I cannot. And it's going to be here to August, people. So get ready for the retardation. I feel like... um. You holding that guard up very high, but you're willing to give somebody a chance, but it's like you overthink it. You feel me? And I feel like a lot of changes are coming. Listen, you're blessed. I ain't even gonna lie. She's telling me you're blessed, Gemini's. Okay? But there's a person here, and I'm not gonna lie, because I don't sugarcoat shit on my channel. You feel me? Look how that candle turned off. Damn. I don't know when it turned off, but it turned off. And you know what? She's telling me to light up another one. Not to let that get into the reading when my candle has been turning off on these tarots they've never turned off in um person i don't know what's going on here with these readings there's some bad energy i was just gonna say it down listen gemini i feel like um somebody here is watching you very closely i don't know when that kind of turned off but i'm gonna go back and look at that I feel like somebody is watching you very closely. They stalking you. They have a bad energy. They got like this energy of like darkness. You feel me? And I feel like they're going to people. And I'm not going to lie. Because I'm not going to sugarcoat shit no more in my channel. There's a lot of things that come out here that my ancestor says. And my diet are true. And all my ancestors that are here want me to say. And I hold back sometimes because it's too much. But let me tell you something. This person that you left... Is doing fucking magic shit on you. They're going to places to try to get you back. They're trying to tie you up. So if you can't find a relationship or you've been in one. Or you tried to get in one and it didn't work out. That's your problem right there. Because this person is. This person. They have family. That are in religion. I'm going to say it right now. They, know how, they have family that know how to work. Voodoo. Spells and all kind of shit. And this person has been trying to get you back by doing that. You feel me? But you know what? It's backfiring on them, but it's putting you in a position where you, you can't move. You can't move. You can't get a relationship. But when you try, it's like you don't feel it. You don't want it. You feel me? Or something happens. You feel me? So this person with this dark energy, you need to be careful because they're watching you. Okay? And somebody here might have a little dog. I'm looking at the card. And I never look at the cards. You feel me? Somebody can have a little dog. Um, And I never look at the cards. That was weird. I don't look at the cards. But for the most part, I mean, you're standing strong. You're standing firm with your, with your money, with your home, with your stability. You want to make things right for you. But listen, if you don't go out there, Gemini, and you have some fun, and you go back into the world, you feel me? And you start thinking about yourself, loving yourself more. And, you know, going out there, interacting with people and forget about this energy. You feel me? You're going to keep on fighting to be happy. I ain't even going to lie. Okay? And whoever he is in a curtain situation, in a curtain um commitment, listen... I'm not going to lie. There's juggling here. You might have found out because I feel like something happened between you and this person. There was a problem here. You might have found out, but if you didn't, you're going to find out. 
Well done. All these candles are turning off. This person is doing magic. And I don't even like to call it magic because it's not magic. It's boom. Listen. Something good's coming for you, Gemini. It could be, you know, the abundance that you got going on is incredible. Okay? Just get, listen. I was talking about butterflies. That little butterfly. I've never even noticed that under the full card. Jumping a leap of faith. It could be to anything because I see a lot of changes here. I see blessings coming in here. I see you moving up to bigger and better things. I see a person here that might want to come in. You feel me? But with all this energy that this past person got going on here towards you, listen, if you've been trying to move on, like I said, and it ain't happening, it's because this person's doing magical work on you. And I'm not going to call it magic no more. It's voodoo. Period. There's no such thing as magic. It's fucking voodoo. This person's been going to another person. This person's been doing a lot of work on you. Because you left them. And they can't live without you. But at the same time, when they were with you, they were juggling. They were doing shit they were not supposed to be doing. Be careful that you don't find a cat in front of your door. Be careful. And I'm not saying do something to the cat. Because that's not what I'm saying. So don't get it twisted and see a cat and try to kill the cat. You feel me? But be careful they don't put a cat around you with some type of voodoo or something going on in front of your door or around the premises because they can do that, okay? And if they do, don't feed the cat or give water to that cat. Whoever feeds it and gives it water, nothing's going to happen to him because it's meant for you. Just leave the cat alone, okay? For some reason, she just mentioned that. Hold on. That was random, but you need to um hear it. You feel me? Hold on. What else for... um? Gemini. Peace. Listen, blessings are coming in. Okay, blessings. Gemini, I told you from the beginning, you're getting blessings. Okay, you're trying to... Listen, you have a lot of balance in your life. You have a lot of faith. Okay? And I feel like your faith has brought you to where you're at right now. Because you've been through hell. I see you've been through hell. You know, sometimes you were trying to go up and up and up and up. And you would take 10 cents. Oh, oh, fuck. Mercury retrograde. I can't. You would take 10 steps back. Let's just talk slow so Mercury won't get in the way. And I feel like every time you try to accomplish something, it's going super good. And then, boom, something happens that's, that takes you back. But I feel like that with all the faith that you got going on here, it has brought you to places where you're at right now. Okay? You might be a spiritual person as well. You might be spiritual and you might be picking up, okay? You might have, listen, there's somebody here that has intuition. There's somebody here that knows, that sees, and that hears. Your clairvoyance are on point. Some of you have intuitions, meaning if you're feeling drained at some point or you feel like you're too tired or you feel like you're too up and going or you feel like um your appetite's changing or anything's changing, is because... You're picking up other people's energies. You're picking up things like an empath. You feel me? You might not be a full-blown empath, but there's people that pick up things and are empaths. You feel me? So all that energy starts building up in you, and you start feeling all this. You know? And sometimes you feel like, I just want to lay down. I don't want to do nothing today. You feel me? But some of you keep moving. If you feel those things happening, go outside. Ground yourself. Meditate. Take a walk, you feel me, and start, you know, doing things on your own. And the best thing that I would do is get under a tree in my front yard, in my backyard, or whatever it is, and just breathe the in and out and meditate outside with nature. And I would ground myself most definitely. You feel me? She's telling me, go to the nature a lot. I don't know if you guys live in the forest or near... Where there's animals out there, it's good to interact with animals as well. Because she's pointing out animals to me. Go out where the animals are at, or in a forest, or in a field. Something like that, where there's earth grounded. You feel me? That's going to make you feel better. For the most part, there's somebody watching you very good here. They're not keeping their eyes off of you. They want to get back with you, but you know why? Because they fucked up. They're financially going through it right now. They financially messed you up. 
you're on a hold in some type of way. You're doing good. But there's something going on with your finances. That this person left you with a burden. They just walked away. Some of y'all, you know, just walked away. But this person walked away with all this shit. And left you with all these burdens. And when I say walked away, I don't mean they walked away from you. When you left them, they walked away with all this shit they left behind to you. You feel me? So it's like... You you in between a sword and a wall, like I say. If you hit the sword, you're going to get fucked up. If you hit the wall, you're going to hit the wall and get fucked up. You feel me? Somebody here is going to come new. Or somebody already did. It didn't work out. Listen. If somebody comes in, you know, you need to, like, get out. You need to... She keeps on telling me you need to get out. Okay? Because this person, whoever came through here, I feel like some of y'all met somebody and it didn't work out. She's telling me some of y'all. Algunos de ellos estuvieron ahí y no pasó nada. But listen. Whoever's in the, whoever here met somebody and didn't work out. It happened for a reason. Don't take it like, oh, it was me. It's me. Everything happens to me. No. It was for a reason. Okay? Because I feel like you got blessings here and the universe put it there for a reason. Okay? Or your guides put it there for a reason. Trust in your guides more. She's telling me. Trust in your guides more. Put your, your faith in your guides because some of you, because if shit happens to you, you question your guides. You can't be doing that. You can never question your guides. Just like nobody likes to question God, you can't question your guides. Because they do things for a reason, you feel me? So next time something happens, don't question your, um, your guides because she's telling me, ellos no getting. And when she says that to me, is like, it's not that you don't believe. It's just that when things happen, you're questioning the guides. Okay, so if you do exist, why did this happen to me? Well, because it was supposed to happen. You feel me? Because I don't sit here and I'm perfect. I've had my problems in my life. You feel me? We're not, we're, 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 listen, we are human. We all go through shit. You feel me? So you got to trust your guides. They're the only ones that are going to lead you the right way. Your diet is your guides, whatever you believe in. But somebody here is spiritual. Somebody here. And it could be a lot of you. Feel what the fuck's going on. But listen, this person right here, they're working you. Okay? And those suppressed feelings, let them out. Because I feel like she's telling me, hey, I want that mucho but dentro. Don't suppress your feelings. Whatever you got to say to your person, say it. Whatever you've been hiding so long from your person that you don't want to say yeah, you say some things, but you don't say everything. Say it. Because I feel like some of you that are committed here want to step out. But you ain't saying it. You're saying some things, but you ain't saying everything. If you're not happy, find your happiness. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, if you're not happy with a person, you're not happy with yourself. And if you're not happy with yourself, you can't make nobody happy. You feel me? So, you know, let's see. What is this person's... It could be past, present, or future. You feel me? What is this person's intentions towards Gemini? Please. She got so much to say, but I can't be here three hours. Listen, this... this okay, wait, because it came across... It came like, Damn, Mercury Retrograde. What the fuck? Like, ugh. Okay, hold on. The Ten of Cups came in reverse. Jennifer, I don't know what Jennifer is, but they just put Jennifer in my head. Listen, the Ten of Cups are reversed. This person is um not happy either with you. This person doesn't care about you. I'm sorry. This person never did. Hold on. What else we're doing right here with this person? It's like the happiness in your home or the happiness that you have with this person all went to shit. Like, there's no happiness here. Look at this. The Ten of Wands. This person also is tired. This person's looking to listen. This person is looking at something new. This person might have, when you threw them out, they might have went somewhere else new. They might be with somebody right now. If you're thinking about this person, but at the end of the day, they're still watching some of y'all. Some of y'all being watched. But this person, whoever's committed here, or whoever just left somebody, I'm sorry, but this person is tired. They're not happy. You're not happy. 
Neither one of you are happy. You feel me? But I feel like you carry so much burdens. It's like this person put the burdens on you, but I feel like this person is blaming everything on you. You feel me? And they want to carry the they they want to say they carry the burdens. They want to say they're not happy. Yeah, they're not happy because they don't want to be there. But they put everything on you. You feel me? I'm not going to say that you're not perfect. Because I see some things you've done here, Gemini. I'm going to stay quiet. <laughs> but, listen, this person, you know, is mostly whoever you're with's fault. Because, I'm going to be fair. If it's you, Gemini, I'm going to say it. You fucked up. I'm going to say it. I'm not going to hold back no more. But... I feel like both of you fucked up in some type of way, but I feel like this person fucked up more. And every single burden, yours, that person's, whoever it is, they throw it to you. Hold on. What else for this person towards Gemini? Peace? Let's see. The fool. I mean, this person might be coming back. To offer an apology, this person might be falling off this relationship. You feel me? Because the fool can come in any different ways. You feel me? But I'm hearing my ancestor. Okay? I'm not even going to do that card right now. I'm going to hear my ancestor. My ancestor is saying here that this person might come back to try to apologize and try to start something new again with you. Be careful with that. Because with the energy that this person has, and you might even fall for it because they're doing magical. I'm they're doing voodoo, period. I'm not gonna say magic no more. They're doing voodoo. And if there's some type of energy that you're picking up that you wanna be with this person and it feels weird and it's like, well, I don't want to be with this person. What the fuck now I want to be with this person? There it is. That's your confirmation. So be careful that they don't come in strolling, like looking like a fool. And trying to get you back because they did some work on you. But at the end of the day, this person don't care. It's all about finances. I don't know why. You might have helped this person a lot with money, stability. I mean, you might have given this person a lot or still given this person. You're the one that gives everything. And that candle is going to turn off. That's how bad that energy is. Oh, my God. Like, listen, don't fall. Listen, you'll know if it's good for you. You'll know if it's bad for you. If this is for you, you'll pick it up. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Take what it is and leave the rest because it's not for you. I don't want every Gemini thinking this is your reading. Like I say it and everybody needs to say All the readers say it and nobody understands this. There's thousands of Geminis. You feel me? And I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just saying that it, me and every reader on YouTube, we tired of saying it. And they come back, oh, that's not me. No, it wasn't you. It was somebody else. You feel me? Y'all know I'm going sugarcoat my shit. Hold on. But I love y'all. Mineta, what advice do you have here for um, Gemini, please? That camera's going to turn off. I'm looking at it right now. That energy that you have with you, or that's around you, is a bad energy. And that person doing so much shit behind your back is pathetic. You need to watch that person because nobody deserves that. And I'm not going to hold back no more. Whatever whatever my ancestor and my deity or true and all my saints and all my... um um, Because there's a lot of things that I've held back on my channel because they say too much. You feel me? But whoever you're with here is juggling the fuck out of you. Whoever you're with here is talking to a past person. And whoever is here is talking to people that don't even like you. People that have wished death upon you. People that have worked you. People that have fucked you up. They're interacting behind your back with these people. I'm sorry. Because they're telling me, talk it out. So yeah, I take that how that hits you. And that shit's going to turn off. It says balance. Take time to relax. Indulge a little more or less. I'm telling you, I cannot make this shit up. Set boundaries with your work. Listen, take some time off, like I said. Go out, man. Have some fun. Look how beautiful. You could be feeling things in your stomach. With that yellow going on in the solar plex, you could be feeling like stomach aches, pains in your stomach, weird shit going on in your stomach. You need to relax. Because I feel like 
point. Look, look at the butterflies again. I just said I seen butterflies black and gold in front of my face. I can't make shit up. This one turned out. I told you it was gonna turn out. And I'm not gonna turn another one on. You feel me? This is this is happening for a reason. They're shutting down your light. When voodoo comes in, they shut down everything. You feel me? So I'm not gonna put another candle on because even though you're reading, I'm not gonna give that energy light. You feel me? I know what I'm doing. So, you know, you got blessings, Gemini. You feel me? You got blessings. Connect with your guides. You feel me? And take care of that problem. Okay, balance yourself. Put boundaries. Okay, not only with other people, put boundaries to yourself. If you see that someone is not worth it, they mess up once. You already know. You can give a second chance. But the second chance, that's it. You're done. Don't pick up that person again if they hurt you already once or twice. You feel me? Once we forgive sometimes, sometimes. I'm not going to talk for me. But, you know, you can give a second chance. But once you see that that's a pattern, uh -huh, you got to set boundaries for yourself and don't let that happen again intention be clear and decisive focus on what you really want be bold with your requests to the universe i just said a little while ago you got blessings the universe is helping you gemini okay so ask the universe be bold with your request when you ask for something make sure that what you ask is what you want don't ask for what you don't want. You feel me? Don't put your ego or don't put nothing in the way. And, you know, just ask the universe from your heart what you really want. Be very clear, okay? Because let me tell you something. When you ask the universe, guys, whatever you want, one mistake in one word, they're going to give you what you want. And sometimes you're going to get what you don't want. You feel me? So focus, all right, on what you really want. Hold on. Let me see if um Mineira. Let me connect with your let me have her connect with your soul. What is your soul? What does Gemini's soul want to say to Gemini? An advice. Fearless self-love. Whenever I choose to love myself, no matter the circumstances surrounding me, I am practicing fearlessness. Are you listening to that? I cannot make these shits up. Connect with yourself. Love yourself more. You're going to be fearless loving yourself more. Stop loving others more than yourself. I feel like you give too much to another person here and you don't love yourself enough. I feel like this person only wants for them or they want it for them and it was them, them, them except you. Love yourself. Your soul is telling you, whenever you go into that place, you're going to be fearless when you love yourself. That's what your soul wants you to know, your higher self. Okay? Is there any message? Is there any overall message with um? Is there anything here for Gemini? Let's see. I don't like when my candles turn off. That energy is really bad. Like... Listen, what we're doing work to you. You need to get that shit off of you because this person is ridiculous. Like, and, but you know what? So many people on that fuckery nowadays are ridiculous. Is there anything here for Gemini, please? Minera. Anything here? One more time. That's it. Anything? Nah, she don't want to do nothing from here. Let's see. What does this person want to tell Gemini, please? Whoa. Okay, there we go. That's what it was. My God, okay. I feel like I'm losing you. So this person and you that are together are going through it and they feel like they're losing you because of all the shit that they're feeling going through. And you know what? I feel like, you know, they already lost you. 
you know, because this person's being, they're not being right, you feel me? Please give me another chance. So whoever's coming here that I said that might be coming in with the fuckery, they're going to come back, okay, to ask for an apology. I already said it. Okay, be careful with that person. That person's working you. I can't do right. I can't do this right now. So whoever here is in a commitment that wants to leave and, you know, you people are like, this person's juggling. This person, like, with that right there is like, you try and try so hard, and it's like every excuse is, I can't, I can't. Look at that, look at the, listen. It's like every excuse is, I can't do it, I can't do it. You feel me? Not right now. Not at this moment. Give me a minute, and that minute never comes. I just want to hold you again. This past person that's working you, I feel like they do love you, they're in love with you, but you left them. But that's not the right way to come to a person. You don't work a person voodoo. You don't you don't tie a person up to bring them back just because they love you. If it's your decision, God, I said that wrong. My my God, but I think I always do say that word wrong. Anyways, it's not their decision to put any kind of spell or any kind of voodoo on you to tie you up to get you back. So if you're listening to this, you already know. If you don't believe it, then you know what? Listen, you'll learn it for yourself. If you do, you already know. This person wants to hold you again, but they should have done it a different way. They should have just came and talked to you, but they're doing, it, they're doing it in the wrong way. I can feel you too. So this person thinks, but you want to go back with them. I mean, I feel like this person, I don't know. It's like a narcissist type of situation here. Like, who the fuck? I don't know. Let me see. I feel like this person feels like you want to be with them when you don't. Hold on. Is there anything else here for Gemini? Anything? One. All right. One. It says, I've looked you up online. I cannot make this shit up, man. I can't. I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. So it could be any type of line. Social media, like Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. Um, my God, it could be anything. You feel me? There's so much social media out there right now. YouTube, everything. It could be anything that they're looking you up. So, yeah, I cannot make this shit up. So, let me see. I'll bring out the babies and we're done here. This could be your first, last. Look, even my, my candle over here is turning off of that energy. That's ridiculous. Okay, let me see. This could be your first, middle, last initial, or this person's. Or it could be a nickname you both call each other or whatever. Or the person you're thinking about. Okay, she said I'm going to stop. Wait a minute, let me try to grab. Damn, she won't let me. Oh my gosh, she almost, she got it stuck. Damn. I'm going to try it again. Okay, it says A. You got an I. You got a T. You got an H. You got a C. And you got a D. Let me see if she lets me put some more out. I mean, let me put some more out. I don't know. She's in a rush. I don't know why she's in a rush. It's a, she doesn't like... Okay, she, let me get two. Let me get two. Okay, so you got F. And you got U. All right? So that's um your reading for today. I'm going to wish you the best of luck, Gemini. And happy birthday to everybody that went through a birthday that's going through it. And you're begin, you know, whatever birthday's coming up, happy early birthday, okay? I wish you the best of luck. And I'll see you later, my loves.